Dear viewers, there are a number of gadgets and equipment um, that we um, attach with our car. It could be a dash cam, it could be a GPS speedometer like the one that I have. Um, and other basic electronics, it could be a wireless charger or it could be um, a number of other items. Um, now those uh, devices requires in most of the cases a uh, micro USB port which is a 5 volt uh, USB power uh, same thing goes for this one uh, this one also powered by a micro USB cable and we know USB is rated for 5 volt so how do we get power to those devices obviously we can use um, our cigarette lighter here but the problem is whenever you say you want to connect this here with that and you see the wire is going to hang like this same thing if you want to route it over there obviously it doesn't really obstruct but it kind of like get uh in the way when you want to operate your um um audio or your air conditioning and stuff like that so um i want to have i would like to have my um uh, dash panel as clean as possible so that you know I can reach all the buttons whenever I want and obviously I don't want nothing to come uh, in the view um, that can obstruct um, my um, uh, my eyes in the road <laughs> so uh, basically the way we can do it as you can guess we're gonna get the power from the uh, fuse box now we do know there are like fuse boxes in our car where um, they're located basically under the hood and obviously as you know or if you don't there's one right um, in most vehicles it's right under here um, let me zoom it for you so once you open it and you'll see there's a fuse box and you can basically share power from that fuse box I already did share power um, through a different way than I'm actually going to show you now I will show how you're going to get power um, from the fuse box now when you choose the right fuse you have to make sure you choose the right one there are a lot of fuses here and you can see if blood motor we have stop lamp room lamp now the safer options will be a cigarette lighter here um, and the room lamp um, and um, I will avoid anything like um, you know fuel injector airbags and um you know auto sensors heaters and stuff like that because we don't want to share power we want to blow the fuses for those stuff because those are very essential in order to maintain a safe driving and operation of our vehicles now um at, uh, the number of items that we'll need i'll list them and i'll show them but generally what you need is basically a DC to DC converter which is a 12 volt con um, to 5 volt converter and we will we'll definitely need a fuse extension we're going to connect that fuse extension to the DC converter and then we will connect that fuse extension to one of the fuse here I will choose the cigarette lighter fuse once we do we'll see that the DC to DC converter that I'm going to show will have two USB a female port um, to which you're going to connect the USB cables that's going to power your devices now the way I'm, I did it I actually rerouted those cables like for example this one I rerouted through the panel here and um, basically you can just tuck them inside like this um, it's not going to interfere with your channeling or um, your um interior and then i kind of like rerouted this one and then channeled it all the way down here same thing goes for the gps speedometer here i also connected it like that now um i'm going to open up the fuse box before that i will connect the fuse extension cable with the uh, dc to dc converter once we are done we'll come to the car We'll open up the fuse box and we'll put the fuse extension and we'll connect those USB cables. So. All right, so 
in order to make a DC to DC converter from 12 volt to 5 volt we will need one of these let me show you uh, so this is technically um, you can find them on Amazon or eBay this is pretty cheap probably from five dollar to ten dollars but it'll pretty much will get one within like seven or eight dollar a decent one now all right so basically uh the unit that i have here it uh claims to uh, convert the 12 volt into five volt and we'll have three amperes of current now obviously this is your ground you're gonna ground this somewhere in the vehicle when I install I'll show you and this is definitely um, it's our um, positive voltage which we will get from the fuse box and this is the fuse extension that we're going to use and the way we're going to put it we're just going to connect this wire here and we'll use one of these um, wire cutters or um, pliers or something and we'll make sure this wire securely fit inside this and the you know there's no play or anything like that so we have to make sure that it's perfectly fit we probably have to cut some of this insulator um, and then once it's connected like this we'll and we'll hook up this in a fuse in our car and I already talked about which particular fuse you could select now it has two USB female port which we need because when you're gonna route your wires from your device um, that you put in your car and you're gonna route those wires around the fuse box and that USB is going to get inside in one of these so you have to I mean you make sure you get the female power obviously because um, what's gonna happen is if I can find a USB cable let me just get one for you and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so okay so this is like a regular USB that probably will have a micro USB on the, on the other side which will then connect with your device and this USB will basically fit inside here like this so make sure the DC to DC converter has the female port and I have two of these because I have two devices that I need to power on and um, what happened is I believe each of these will deliver 5 volt around 1 ampere to 1.5 but I don't I don't think it's gonna um, conveniently um, deliver a constant 3 amperes but that's alright because the device that I have is good for uh, one ampere current now you're gonna connect this with the fuse he extension here and then we're gonna hook it up this with a car fuse and so say you select one of the fuse that has f 10 ampere fuse so I would advise get two 10 ampere fuses and put them here and once you um after you put both of the fuses um then you're gonna hook um take the fuse off from the car fuse uh box and then you're gonna insert this end now we're just gonna trim the wire so so we trimmed off some of the insulator and now we have some bare wires and now it, i don't know if you can see it so now we're gonna put these wires inside this fuse extension clip and we probably can make the wire a little thicker by twisting it around and make a loop and then if we press it down here hopefully we'll have a very good contact and now we're just gonna sort of lock it like that I guess so 
probably can use the pliers to get a better grip and pressure but this one should do it's kind of secure it's not gonna come out so once it's ready it should look like this the red or the positive wire is connected with the um, the end of this fuse extension um, and then we have these black wires for the grounding and these are our USB power ports guys we are almost ready <laughs> we have um, our DC to DC converter and as you can see I already shown you the USB power port and this is our fuse extension and we will connect that fuse extension to our fuse box and I'll choose this particular fuse here uh, the 15 ampere fuses we're gonna use with a cigarette lighter because the reason why I choose it because it's safer to use this particular one and once you turn off your car uh, there will be no power delivered to this uh, fuses and which means our battery is not going to drain um, we might need uh, I use this one to pull up the fuses and uh, this one will use to connect uh, these wires to ground with our vehicle so let's get started guys as you can see I already uh, rerouted my uh, one of the USB here I'm sorry uh, one of the USB here and then we have another USB right here and we're gonna choose this particular fuse right here because that particular fuse is the one that we're gonna connect our um, fuse extension so but first we need to connect two fuses um, in our fuse extension socket connected the all right, so we connected both of the fuses. Don't mind if they don't go all the way down, just make sure they are in good contact with the uh, metal. Um, now, we are almost ready. So we're gonna connect that. So we're gonna connect that like this, and it goes all the way inside and this screw I'm going to use for grounding so now we're gonna get our cables like this and we're gonna ground it here it's kind of hard for me to do it with one hand so um, but you got the idea it's just gonna uh, loosen up this uh, bolt or screw and then you're gonna kind of make a loop and from there when you retight this is going to be a good grounding options. Right, so I use a ten millimeter wrench to tight this nut, and we are good for the grounding. So we connected the fuse um, extension here, and we also ground it. Our cables and now we are pretty much done now we have to find a nice area where you can tuck it somewhere here and we're also gonna um, wrap up these wires and make sure they are nicely tucked somewhere and especially pay attention not to have any loose wires hanging down here because obviously you need to have this is unobstructed in order for the safe operation of your vehicles. We tucked all of the wires and uh, I just wanna show you that's how you're going to um, connect the USB cables to the USB power cables here. Um, goes for this one as well. So now we are ready and we'll turn on the vehicles and we'll see if we are getting um, sufficient power and stable power to our equipment. Once done, we're gonna put our fuse box cover we're gonna turn on the vehicle and yes we can see the GPS speedometer getting the power and our dash cam is also operating 
um, perfectly. So that's it guys, no more wires hanging down for your dash cam or other equipment. So this is not only neat, it also ensures that if you're running short for available USB slot, you can have more. Uh, if you take a moment and subscribe and uh, like this video or share, because this really inspired me to make uh, more uh, videos. I know this stuff is really easy, but uh, there are folks out there, who, uh, I believe, who might get um, uh, might get some help from these videos. Um, I really have appreciate your help and support. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll make another video soon uh, about how you uh, how you can um, put a uh, backup camera in your car, and I'll uh, go through a step by step process in a very easy way. I hope that will be helpful to, for you guys too. Um, until next video, I'll see you guys. Take care.